हाय फ्रेंड्स दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब एंड क्रोपाथ टुडे आई डिड वन सर्वे लाइक विच इज़ द रॉन्ग फॉर्मेट फॉर एस वी जी एलिमेंट सेलेक्टर एंड आई गॉट रियली सरप्राइज बाय लुकिंग एट द रिजल्ट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक एटी परसेंट पीपल हैज गिवन द रॉन्ग आंसर यू सी दिस इज ऑन लिंकड इन दिस इज ऑन ट्विटर and this is on uh, my selectors of telegram group almost 80% people have given the wrong answer region it's very simple because what we have learned whatever we see something uh, uh, what we considered always like chrome dev tools or any browser dev tools something is a standard but that is not always correct like few things which are big and very i mean what to say like uh, not always we should consider anything always as a standard because ev- anything could be buggy anything could uh, can give the wrong uh, wrong ideas or basically like not the correct everything could not be correct always so w- the region why people has given uh, like here the question is which is the wrong format for svg element selectors so why people has chosen this one and this one as a wrong because they have seen this as the x path for svg element because when you copy it from here copy x path and from here we are getting this forward slash svg so we thought this is the correct one rest two are wrong rest two could be wrong but no this is the wrong format this is the correct format this is the correct format this is the svg uh, this is the x path format for svg element local less name open parenthesis close parenthesis equal to svg and this is the css selector which is absolutely fine which works as a standard for both uh, like svg elements and and any other element but x path format x path syntax for svg is different from the standard one we cannot write like this we cannot locate svg element writing like this if you would have used selector sub selector sub give you helps you with the correct syntax for each kind of uh, elements in the dom and helps you to learn more about dom to get the more knowledge about dom what is uh, what kind of element it is so it tells you that this svg element it in fact it gives you the correct format of uh, your svg element and if you would have like written here like, let me copy this one if you if you would have copy and pasted this one here it will immediately selector sub is the only invention which tells you that uh, whether your selector is uh, what is wrong in your selector like it is telling you that this is invalid X, svg x path format immediately you you got to know and uh, in fact even if you turn it off and you are building your own x path like this <coughs> this will immediately tells you that what is the correct format of writing x svg element right and if you want auto generated and you want to type at the same time both you can do that here and you would be able to learn things about like svg element or any kind of element and the dom knowledge i'm like very much surprised by looking at these results that people are not aware about and uh, of course like that's a uh, in fact uh, i was i could have been in the same position because uh, what we considered like things what uh, standards any browser gives we always consider that yes that could be correct these uh, because we have that perception that an extension could be like okay that extension is must be giving wrong we should not use extension we should not use xpath tool but selector sub is not like any other xpath tool this is a completely complete new reality new invention which helps you to learn about uh, dom about locator you see that what you have learned and today we what we are seeing that uh, this is the result that what we are uh what we have learned from any browser dev tools like chrome dev tools or firefox as opera any any where you check that we got this kind of which is absolutely wrong if you would have open selectors of you would have immediately got that what is the correct format of svg and in fact if you start typing you get that correct one so guys uh i would really request you at if you have ever wrote any kind of selectors you really want to learn more about dom more about locator do check out selectors it will really help you to understand what is wrong what is right 
uh, what kind of locators possible for any kind of element what is an element which kind of element is that everything it will help you with that and it will save a huge amount of time for you this is not something where you copy and just paste the x path it is help it helps you to learn about dom it makes you perfect while writing the selectors in writing selectors in automation i would really request you if you like uh, if you if this video if selector sub is really uh, you found useful please do share with the community with your team with your colleague and uh, do like this video and i'm also preparing more videos on xpath series which will uh, where i will uh, teach you guys how to write better selectors and everything so if you if you really want to learn more about these things these such things do subscribe to the channel and it's my humble request please share about this amazing innovation selector sub it has a tremendous features really amazing feature like right click uh, get copy from here itself relative css selectors like any kind of selectors which you got from dev tools selectors will always give the better and so many amazing features like you can uh, customize the ui you doesn't want so uh, apart from this there are so many features so just and if you have any question anything you feel free to connect with me here you can check out these uh, bot uh, footer links and uh, you can leave your uh, any thoughts in this video in the comment and again thank you so much please do share thank you